Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm not sure what happened to this clip here, but there's no sound. So I'm doing a little voice over here. Today we're going to fill up these $60 bins. I uh, split the $100 bin in half. And I just happened to look over at my neighbor's wood stack that I put there the other day. And, uh, well, he has a sign out for $29.99. So, he was attempting to sell this wood that I gave him for free. It's uh, a lot of undesirables and uh, some uh, kindling stuff. So, I just ripped that sucker off. I knew uh, he's kind of screwing with me. So, it's kind of funny. So, uh, like, like I said, I'm not sure what happened here. But, uh, let's get to loading the gator up and uh, fill these bins. Just got to back this gator over here so I can load some wood into it. And then uh, we'll see how these $60 racks go. I actually got to make some uh, bundles here soon too. Bundles have been going pretty good. Already raised my prices up on the actual regular bins. I raised that up to $30. I haven't raised the prices on the bundles yet, but uh, that's coming. Definitely going up to $8 a bundle. Two for 15 and four for 30. So that's the deal I'm gonna give them anyway see how it goes and this these two $60 bins like I said earlier they it was just one $100 bin I sold a couple of them but uh wasn't wasn't really that good in sales I mean when they sold they sold it was good but let's see how uh $60 ones go and go from there I just think it's uh a smaller quantity so I think some people just uh, either didn't have room for the hundred dollar bin I mean most most people come pick up wood or they're in cars but some some guys do bring trucks and fill them up that way but even so they, they grab uh, they grab bags for in their truck too so Avalanche. This stuff sounds awesome. Definitely ready to burn, that's for sure. I know my destiny. I'm gonna fill this pin up first and see how many gear loads it actually takes. I think this one load should be pretty close to filling this one rack up. We'll see how it goes. So 
So my neighbor uh, was messing with me there in the beginning. You've seen that uh, $29.99 sign on his wood stack over here. Yeah, I give my neighbors uh, all of my undesirables. Unless it's big, gnarly stuff, then I give that stuff to Sam to burn in his wood boiler. But, decided to mess with me a little bit and put a sign uh, on the stack that I gave him the other day. Just, just to get me riled up a little bit. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> All right, guys, let's speed you up on this one, too. that finished so so this is more of a metal note for me this is one gator load somewhat heaping in the middle so probably need two heaping rows but I'll put three in just in case I need to make some bags anyway so the leftover stuff I'll make bags out of so let me go get this loaded up and finish stacking it in here and then I'll show you the rest of my uh, firewood stand here. Well, there you go, guys. There's my two $60 racks. So like I said, it's it's basically the $100 rack. And instead of raising the price on the $100 rack, I split it in half and put two $60 racks up. So I think it's just a better option if they want to buy the whole rack for 120 bucks, so be it. But it gives an option for the people that don't have room to hold one big rack like this if they have room to hold half of the rack that's just better for them you know what i mean as you can see i kind of changed my whole layout here i got a bigger bag storage area and i only have three 30 dollar bins that used to be 20 dollar bins my old bins were only about this high so i gave them there's a little extra in here plus i marked up the price to 30 dollars the bag price is going to change to eight dollars so i said i have room to store 15 bags in the bag area here now so it's pretty good keeps me from having to keep running in and out to fill the bags once the bags go down let me give you a little tour around the wood yard there's my undesirable pile all this here is wood from the roadside uh, there's one, two, three, four. It's probably five cord there that I got from the roadside. Yes, it's four rows deep. Nice stuff. This is what I have left over from last year. So I'm pretty good, pretty good for uh, next year, burning wise. So that, that stuff's seasoned, ready to go. This stuff here is for the roadside stand. That's three rows, about five foot high. And uh, that's from the roadside also. This is a trailer load that's ready to split. 
all this is ready to burn up to about here. So most of this is new, split within the last month or two. This stuff here, this stuff here, probably from about here was all from those big ones. It's really, really nice stuff. Really nice stuff. And then here's that load of cherry I got. It's all unloaded, ready to split. I was gonna split that stuff out of the trailer, but I needed the trailer for something, so I had to dump it out. I also did a whole lot of cleaning up. There is basically no debris. That's all kindling I'm gonna save for myself and a bunch of big chunks that I'm gonna save for myself or Sam. Up there is a bunch of chunks that I need to get split up. Over there is all the wood for uh, my buddy Sam. I'm gonna break it down for him so all he has to do is throw it into the boiler when he's ready. So yeah, that's about it guys. I mean, we'll see how it goes. See how the new $60 bins go and uh, go from there. Let me grab a beer and uh, close this thing out. Well, there you go guys. Like I said, uh, hopefully uh, this gets some more sales out of this rack. I mean, it's definitely uh, more options. Like I said, uh, if somebody wants to buy the whole rack, they can still buy the whole rack, you know? So let me know in the comments what you guys think. You think this is gonna go well? Um, I'm thinking it is. So only one way to find out is to try it. So uh, yeah, I like it. So camping season's among us. So there you go, guys. That's all I got for today. So if you like this type of stuff, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Tell one of your friends. I'll see you guys in the next one.